Hey guys, MJ675 here, and today I'm going to be doing a review of the 75933 T-Rex transport set from the new Jurassic World stuff. Well, at least somewhat new when I'm recording this. When you see this, this probably won't be very new anymore. In fact, it is very likely that this set will be discontinued when you're seeing this. But anyway, let's get into the review. This set retails for $70 in the United States, so that is the price point I will be judging it off of. And it comes with 609 pieces, so yeah, let's get into the box. Um, here's the box. It just shows the set, like we've come to expect. All this stuff, branding, you know, all the normal box stuff. Taking a look at the top of the box here, you can see the figures and stuff. Pretty usual stuff. Bottom of the box, again, pretty similar. And the sides, nothing really unusual about them. But there you go. So, those are the sides of the box. And here on the back of the box, you can, you can see some of the more general stuff. This one has the thumb tabs to open, which I find a little bit interesting. And yes, this is a an American version of this set. And usually in America, you just get like the battle packs and stuff with these sorts of things, and not bigger sets like this. But I don't know. So that's I think that's pretty interesting. But overall, on the back of the box, you can see different dinosaurs from different sets. How you can build dinosaurs, you know. Set features, the normal stuff, and just some more pictures of the set. So. That is, that's pretty much it for the box of the set. Um, overall, my thoughts on this are that it's a pretty interesting box and stuff, but the one thing that I think is the most interesting is the thumb tabs, and I don't know why they included the thumb tabs on this set. I can understand it for smaller, like, battle pack sets where there's only one of them, but I never, at least for America, I never really got it. I mean, it's kind of an anti-theft thing, which, you know, I can, I can totally get that, but... I don't know, it's just kind of unusual for them to do thumb tabs on these sizes of sets. Usually with this size of a set you'll get tape on the box, but we didn't get that in this set. So that's it for the box, now I'm going to unbox the set. Alright, so here are the contents of the set. You can see here's the box, I have opened the box, you get a sticker sheet, which is right here, and I'm just going to hold it up because you can't see it very well because it's kind of behind some stuff. Two different sized instruction manuals, and you get four different bags of pieces. The first three of these are numbered, being one, two, and three. And then the T Rex comes in its own bag like this with all the pieces you need to build the T Rex just in here. And there are two additional loose pieces in the box, being these two pieces right here. So now that we've taken a look at the contents of the box, I'm going to take a brief moment to take a look at the instructions and sticker sheet, and then I will build the set. Alright, so now we'll take a look at the two instruction manuals and the sticker sheet. I'll start out with the sticker sheet, which is right here. So, as you can see, this is the sticker sheet. Not that many stickers on this set. If I were to count all of them, it looks like we have five different unique stickers, but we have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different stickers. So, $70, seven stickers, you know, not bad, but, you know, obviously I would have liked it if there weren't any stickers, but overall, um, I'm happy with the amount of stickers on this set so far. We'll see if that changes after I build it. And the sticker sheet is of the same quality that we've been expecting. So if you have bought a Lego set that has stickers, don't expect anything less than what you got. Well, at least if you bought any of the recent ones from recently. But now I'll take a look at the instruction manuals. And one thing that I already don't like about this set is that they have two different instruction manuals, which are two different sizes. And this is something that's more of a gripe just because of how I store the instruction manuals, where I'll store them based on size and set number. So this set will get split up into two different instructions, and two different piles because just of the size where you have kind of the small battle pack instructions and then you have the mid-range, the mid-sized set instructions, which, you know, not something I'm a big fan of, but I can, I can look past it. So now we'll take a look at the first instructions. It's looking like brick separator stuff and normal stuff like that. And then right into the instructions with bag one. And I'm thinking that this might actually just be bag one. I'll flip through it really quickly. Is that That's very possible and I would not be surprised. Yeah, it's looking like th th this instruction manual is just bag one as you can see. And it's pretty much the end of what it told us to build, and now it's telling us to go to the second instruction manual. Product feedback survey on the back, nothing unusual there. Then if we go over to the second instruction manual, as you can see, it's just a bit larger. And here we have bags two and three, so there you go. The rest of the set will be built in these two bags, and these instructions. 
And it looks like you use the T-Rex bag and the two loose pieces in the first instruction manual, so I guess that's I guess that's kind of neat. But if I'm to flip through this all the way until we get to the end, as you can see, there's the finished model parts list right here, and I would not be surprised if this continues on over to yep, two more pages. There we go. So those are the parts, and then right here, you can get some advertising for the different dinosaurs, some advertising for the dif different Jurassic World sets. And then Ninjago advertisement and City advertisement, which are both kind of out of place on this. Usually they'll just advertise with stuff within the theme of the set that you're buying, but I guess the Jurassic World theme isn't really big enough to support that many ads, and they just had some extra room. And then on the back, Lego Life advertisement. Imagine my shock, this is nothing unusual now. So that is pretty much a look at the sticker sheet and the instructions. Overall, summarizing my thoughts, the sticker sheet is acceptable, and while I may not like the two different sizes of instructions, I think that both of the instructions do quite well in every other department, and pretty much both of these items are the same sort of stuff that you'd expect if you've bought any LEGO sets recently. It's the same sort of quality, nothing out of the ordinary here. So, now that I have done that, I'm going to build the set.
So here are the extra pieces from the set. So yeah, there they are. Um, among my favorites of these are these transparent light blue studs, this sort of scarf piece, the lightsaber hilt, and the syringe piece. But besides that, you know, all of these are cool. I mean, the syringe is kind of common, but you know, whatever. All pretty neat pieces. So now that we have taken a look at that, um, the building experience was pretty okay. Nothing really out of the ordinary. So yeah, um, now I'm going to show you guys the figures from this set. Alright, so now we'll take a look at the figures included in this set. Starting from the left, moving to the right, we have a guard, a guard, and then Zia Rodriguez, and then a baby dino over here. So, those are the figures. Just quickly taking a look at them here. Yeah, so these are the figures. Um, the guards look pretty similar outside of a few small differences like, you know, the faces and stuff. I believe that they have the same torso, so I'm not going to remove the scarf to show the torso on this one. But as you can see, leg printing, torso printing, leg and torso printing. And these legs are actually dual molded, which you'll be able to see if we turn it back around to the figures. And you can see that the bottom of the legs are a different color, which is pretty cool to have some dual molded legs in this set. And then the backs of these figures here have some printing as well. Baby Dino also has a little bit of printing on it, which makes it look just a little bit cuter. So I, I really like the Baby Dino. And now we'll take a look at the different faces of these figures. Um, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of the hair piece on Zia Rodriguez, but I'm sure it's accurate to the movie in some way. I don't know. Moving just the different head pieces in this hat. Um, yeah, so also, also I'm going to remove the scarf real quick so that you guys can see this guy's head a bit better so there you go so these are the heads of the minifigures and as you can see pretty normal um the guards don't have any secondary faces but Zia Rodriguez has a secondary face so yeah as far as the um, accessories go this guard has a stud shooter this guard has like some sort of like taser staff or something so that he can get the dinosaurs under control and Zia Rodriguez has the syringe for doing doctor stuff, I'm assuming. So that's, that's pretty much that um, overall. These figures, you know, they're all right. Um, I definitely do appreciate them. But for a $70 set, I just wish there were a few more figures. But, you know, it seems like we're not getting that really right now. So what are you going to do, right? <laughs> but those are the figures from this set. So pretty, pretty neat um, overall. Pretty good stuff. Um, favorite, my favorite figure is the baby dino, but it's not really a figure, so I guess, I guess out of these, not including the baby dino, my favorite figure is this guard, and I just think he looks really spiffy. So that is it for the main figures. So now I'm going to bring out the T-Rex because it was too big to look at here, and then we'll take a look at the builds from the set. All right, so here is the T-Rex. As you can see, it is quite a large figure. Here is a, another figure for scale, so quite a big thing here. Um, so yeah, let's just get into this. So T-Rex is a T-Rex like you would expect. It has a tail which is a separate piece and it can rotate so that's pretty neat. Um, I don't know why you'd rotate it really. It just kind of makes the whole lines down here a bit off but you can. And then you have the legs which on either side rotate a bit. You could, I guess if you remove this arm you could rotate it up a bit more but it kind of because of how the legs are with this molding right here, it'll kind of just run into the body so it won't be able to go forward anymore, which I guess is kind of a neat feature, but I don't know. And also a similar thing prevents it from going super far back, so this is really as far back as you could get the legs theoretically. 
but even then the tail prevents it from going back all the way. But if we were to remove the tail, because the tail is actually removable, and yeah, if we were to do that, then you can get it to stand up pretty high, but unfortunately it won't work very well with the tail. So those are the legs. Um, the legs are detachable as well from the body somehow. <laughs> There you go, the legs can come off just like that. So, pretty cool, and then you have these little T-Rex arms up here which are just, aren't really on the ratchet joints, they're pretty much just pins that are stuck into the body piece. And they move pretty freely, um, just pretty much just like that. You can get a little bit of movement out of them, but not a lot, but overall it's pretty accurate to a T-Rex, so no complaints. And then moving on to the head, which I think is the most detailed parts. The head is actually two different pieces. You have the lower jaw here, which you can open and close like so that you can maybe munch on some things or whatever. And then you also have the main headpiece, which has the neck attachment right here, which connects the body up here. And then that will allow you to tilt the neck up and down so he can look down or he can look up. That will also will allow you to tilt it like this so that you can, well, it's probably not very accurate. You can get it to look back like that and like that. So you can tilt the head up and down and you can rotate it pretty much just like that. So that's, that's pretty much all you can do though with this figure. A really cool, um, really detailed T-Rex. Um, so I'm very happy with this T-Rex personally. <laughs> this, is, this is my first um, dinosaur of this size in Lego. So pretty cool. I'm happy with this dinosaur and just, yeah, very cool little dino. Well, pretty big dino, but you know, pretty, pretty cool thing here. So now that we have talk about this um, I'm going to bring out the builds from the set and we will get into those alright so there are two builds included in this set at least yeah there's really just two builds so we'll start out on the smaller of the two which is this one right here so this is kinda like some sort of medical station where on the box they advertise this with the mini dino right here and Zia Rodriguez along there but one thing that I did notice in the instruction manual which I just remembered I should probably point this out is that if we are to look on this, you can see this is the first instruction booklet because it only has the first bag. Get the mini dino in this bag, which is accurate to the way the set actually is. But then if you come over here to the second instruction manual, second bag looks fine, but on the third bag it shows you getting the mini dino again, which you got in the first bag and there's not too many dinos, so I don't know, interesting error in the instructions, but it doesn't really take away from the set that much, so pretty much what you can do here is you can have Zia Rodriguez over here on this computer thing. This monitor is a stickered piece because it's just on a hinge, so it's kind of unusual. But the keyboard is actually a printed piece, so very cool. And then also what you can do is if you have the T-Rex here, um, you can take this little thing here and hook it up to the T-Rex so that, I don't know, you can do doctor stuff with the T-Rex, but I don't know. It, there's no stud really for it to clip on to the baby dino, which is unfortunate, but you know, still a pretty neat idea for a build. And one of the other things that it can do besides that is if you want to, you can fold this up, which I mean, it's cool. It's a cool idea, but I don't know. I'm just, I'm just, I don't know. I think that there would be some better features to this. I mean, maybe you can put it in the back of the other vehicle, but I think even if it was unfolded, you could just throw it in the back. I don't know. Maybe this will help you carry it around easier. Who knows? Um, but no, that's pretty much all that there is to this. Um, I, I gotta say, uh, for just for this build, I'm actually kind of disappointed. Um, I wasn't expecting this to be something super stellar, but it doesn't really do much of anything. I mean, it, it, it it's kind of just a display build, and it doesn't even look that good. So, I don't know, I'm really torn on this build, but now let's move on to the main attraction of this set, and the bigger of the two builds. This giant truck, and if I zoom out, oh... There you go, you can you can get most of it on the frame there. So this is actually two different things. The trailer, which is back here, in which hitches on by this Technic pin, which doesn't really stand up on its own, and you have the truck. So we'll just I'll just keep them together for this. But they do have this thing down here so that you can put that forward so and you can put the trailer up like that if you want to leave it out. So that's pretty cool. So we'll look at the truck first. So here's the truck. It's pretty much just a truck. You got four wheels, pretty nice doesn't actually look too bad from the underside and that's pretty much it you got some stickers right here and a sticker in the back here and if you want to get one of your guards on here all that you need to do is you need to get one of your guards and then this should come off pretty easily you got some tiles right here which will allow you to take it out and then 
Unfortunately, it's just studs, so the figure might get stuck down in here, but you can, and I think it helps if you remove the windshield too, but I don't I don't know if you're, they want you to do that or not, but I just did, so you can get your figure, maybe move the stud shooter, put that right back there. Oh no, it's not going to fit, so. Oh well, I guess he's just going to have to carry it. There we go, so just like that, put this back on, and we will put that on like so. So there you go, so now you have one of your security guards, or just guards in there, he's just hanging out, and there's a steering wheel in there so he can drive the car, but overall, pretty basic build, not a whole lot of stickers, not a whole lot going on, it's pretty much, you just have some wheels in the chair, and that's pretty much all the features of this vehicle, but the main features come when you add on this trailer thing, which we'll take a look at by itself first. So here it is. Here is the trailer, and as you can see, it is quite a big build. Actually, I think it looks a bit ridiculous when it's on the car, but we'll get to that in a minute. And there are a few different features of this. Um, one, you can open up these right here so that you can get access in there. And also, if you move these Borok eyes out of the way, you can lower down this side as well. It doesn't go all the way down, which, you know, that's, that's kind of bad, but oh well, it's the thought that counts. And... As far as the stickers go on this set, um, these are the only stickers I believe on here besides the license plate on the back. Um, these caution tape sort of 1x4 tiles are printed pieces, which I do like these are printed pieces on this set. I think that the printed pieces really help the set out. And if you want to get your T-Rex in here, um, you'll notice that there are holes on either side here. And what that will allow you to do is get your T-Rex. And because he's so big and he has this massive tail, um, that what that will allow you to do is stick his tail in one of those and then your T-Rex can just hang out in there and that will That's pretty much all you can get out of it, but if you have it like that, then you can have him there. Oh <laughs> Tried to stick him down on the studs. And I guess that didn't work out so well But you can get him stuck down on the studs if you are or if you're wary of this or you have this on the truck it Should go fine. And then once you're done with that you can push this side back up lock it back in like that and then you know what if he decides to jump out well you can just close these back in over him so it's now kind of like this all you do is take him and go like that so now he's pretty locked in there so now he's just hanging out you can you can either put him so that he's on the frontward side of the trailer which i have him facing forward or you can put it backwards there's a hole on both sides for you to stick him out but if you are then to go and get your trailer right here get your car right here push this back up and then lock that onto place just by pushing down on that pin with the trailer connector and there you go so now you have your trailer with your t-rex right here and you can now bring him wherever you need to go but one thing i will say about this combo is that the trailer looks absolutely ridiculous on this car the car just looks way too small but I, I'm sure that they're able to pull that with your with whatever you're doing. You can pull that around. And there's no weight limit or anything. But at, I just I just think that looks a bit ridiculous. Uh, maybe maybe a bit bigger of a car would have helped this out a bit. But you know you never know. So if you want to, you can again take out your dinosaur, whatever dinosaur you have in there. You can just do it like that. And they have it in the set so that he's kind of. He's kind of shown just like they opened up both sides of this, which we will do just like this. And then they kind of have him running out, which, you know, you can, you can do that. It, it works kind of okay. But if I'm to move him out of the way, I'm, one last thing I want to see is how well this thing will fit in here. And the T-Rex just fell over, but you know what? That's fine. So this fits in here quite well in the folded up position. If you're to unfold it, I mean, it fits as well, so maybe if you have other cargo, the folded up position's not that bad, but I don't know why they made this fold up. <laughs> Did they? I think they made it fold up just so it could fit in better, but it still fits, and you're not going to be sneaking a dinosaur in with that thing in as well, so I don't know. It, it's it's interesting. I'll, I'll, I'll say that. So now we have pretty much looked at all the stuff that's going on in this set, so... Here you got all the builds, got your T-Rex right here. Oh, I hit the camera. I'm sorry about that. And you got all your figures and stuff right here. So now that we have kind of taken a look at everything that's going on in this set, you know, what do I think about this set overall? 
Well, as far as the instructions and box go, um, besides that error in the instructions, I think both are fine. Push tabs on the box are a bit weird for a set of this size, but in other in other versions of this set, I'm sure that's not not unusual at all. As far as the figures go, figure selection I think is fine. I mean, it does. It's not like a lot of the Star Wars sets where you're missing just one figure to really that would really just make the set actually function to its fullest capacity. You have enough figures to really operate the set here. In fact, I don't, you don't even really have a seat for this extra guard, so I don't know, maybe he tags along on the back of the trailer. Who knows, you have enough figures to do this set some justice. And as far as the builds go, um, this this thing right here, um, I really don't like that much. I mean, I get the idea of maybe just including some little smaller build to, you know, just kind of bump the set up to that $70 price point. But honestly, I don't think this was it. I mean, I like the baby dino and all, don't get me wrong, but I would have liked it if they included, like, maybe some other dinosaur instead of this build right here. Because, I mean, it, it, it's okay. I mean, it's not it's not the worst thing in the world. It's just not very good, and it's, it's kind of bland. And it doesn't really fit in that well with this set, in my opinion, so... I don't know. Um, I'm I'm torn on this build really, because I like I kind of like what they were going for. I just don't really like the execution here. But it does have some interesting pieces in it. So that's that's pretty good. And then as far as the truck goes, um, I I really do like this truck build. I think the truck build looks pretty sweet. But when you put the truck with the trailer together, it just looks it just looks ridiculous. I'm not even I'm not even gonna pretend that it looks anywhere normal. <laughs> this this just looks so ridiculous. The trailer is just so tall, it's like seeing like a Camry or something, or some other really low to the car, ground car, carrying like a semi-truck trailer. Maybe not that extreme, but you get what you get what I'm going for. It's like this massive trailer on the back of this tiny car. And the car is actually not that small in compared to minifigures, but it still looks ridiculous. I mean, I don't know what the fix for this necessarily would be. I mean, you could either make the car bigger, maybe take the pieces out of this build and use it to make the car a bit bigger. Or you can make the trailer a bit smaller, but that would probably involve making the dinosaur a bit smaller. And they probably have a pre-established scale for the dinosaurs, so I wouldn't mess with that. But just something to make the scale a bit more consistent between these two vehicles I think would have been nice. And as far as the trailer goes, um, it's alright. It, it does what it needs to do. It, it successfully stores the T-Rex, which, you know, I like. I like the T-Rex. I like how it stores the T-Rex. And I don't really have any complaints about that. I just think it, that in conjunction with the car, it looks a little bit weird. But one thing I will say is I really like these panels right here. These panel pieces look really good. Um, I don't know if they're new or not on this set, but I am definitely hoping to maybe pick up a few more of these because these look really nice. But overall, um, for $70, I think the price per part is fair for 609 pieces. I mean, it's, it's not great, don't get me wrong, but I think just having this dinosaur, this massive dinosaur in this set kind of does justify that price because this is you know this is a mass these are a bunch of massive parts i mean these maybe not so much these are like medium-sized parts but even then these are still pretty intricate parts and printed very very detailed printing on this as well so i think that just having the t-rex alone bumps it up to 70 dollars from the 609 piece mark so i think the price for a part is fair and overall um, i think that if you're looking for a jurassic world set this is not a bad one to pick up i don't have any of the other ones so i'm not going to say that this is better or worse than any of those but i think that this set definitely does do what it what it needs to do to be a good set you've got your t-rex you know who doesn't like the t-rex it's it's a nice dinosaur figure you got a baby dino so you can you know you can do some stuff with that you have a few nice figures and you have a nice vehicle where you can I'm sure there's a million different scenarios you can do with this T-Rex maybe you can have him attack the car maybe you can have him get out of the car maybe you can have him get captured and get taken away in the car you know there's so much stuff you can do with this set and I really actually I really do like this set so overall my opinion of this set is it's kind of mixed but still positive a um, few things I would have liked maybe altered or removed but still I think that this set is pretty decent so that is going to be it for my review of the 75933 T-Rex Transport. Um, thank you guys all so much for watching. If you noticed, I did change up my review format very slightly on this review. And let me know what you guys think of that down in the comments section below. I know in the past for this kind of conclusion section, I've brought everything back out. But I think that this will make the videos a bit shorter. And will just generally help these reviews flow a bit better. So I don't know. Let me know what you think. I'm just trying it out. But yeah. Um, 
I'm gonna have some other reviews that are gonna do this way out before this one, so if this format suddenly stops after like four reviews or something, you'll know why, because I've had, I will have had reviews that have done this format out before, but for the time being, just, just bear with this, you know, if people like it or don't like it, you know, if you like it or don't like it, I can make a change, maybe, depending on how quickly this video goes out, or how quickly the other videos go out, but, you know, we'll see, so, that's it for this video, thank you guys all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.